Hello everyone, welcome to my Silent Hill 2 remake, hard combat difficulty, hard puzzle difficulty, no damage walkthrough, and this will cover the beginning all the way to the end of the Woodside apartment area, and you'll notice that I put in some huge edits in this video, because you spend so much of this introduction just simply running and not really engaging with the enemies, and I've also cut out that really big running section at the beginning of the game, and we've just skipped directly to where we actually get to Silent Hill, so make sure you dodge past that first enemy, he'll always do the close range attack, so just time your dodge, get past him, and now we're inside of Silent Hill, so go to the left immediately, be careful of this enemy, he comes out of the car and he'll chase you, but he doesn't follow me into this cafe for some reason. So now I'm just going to grab the coin right over here. Once you grab the coin, there's going to be an enemy that spawns. It's random where he goes, but he's very slow to catch you. Now what you have to do is go all the way to the groovy music store and get the glue and the first half of the record. But this section is dumb because the game's habit of putting James into a locked view every time he inspects a new item can screw you over right here because he still does the animation even when the enemies are in combat with him. So make sure you grab the record. You have to grab the record from this side. If you grab the glue on that side and you're trying to pick up the record, it's so annoying because the detection on picking up items on this game is atrocious. And when you're trying to pick up the record on that side of the table, it has really spotty detection detection and furthermore the enemies can damage you through the window by vomiting at you if you're on that side of the table which is why you have to go to the right hand side of that table and pick up the glue so that the enemy doesn't vomit on you and once you've done that you just need to bust through the window and get out of there i have no idea how the developers could make that kind of amateurish mistake with forcing you into a locked view even when the enemies know where you are but that is seriously stupid but right now we're inside of the soul street apartments there are two creepers in here which are the cockroaches that only appear on hard difficulty but there's one that's dead, and then the other one is right up the stairs right over here. So I'm just going to get rid of them. They aren't so much of a problem, but I just get rid of them in case they decide to uh, sneak up on me. But we're going to enter this apartment, and we're going to go up to the next floor. And we're going to grab the jukebox key after this really tedious, lengthy animation of trying to put your hand in there. I have no idea why the developers make you waste time mashing X so that you can do this very drawn-out, pointless animation that adds nothing to the scene. But they liked it so much that they make you do it multiple times throughout certain points in this game, and it's so stupid. But now that we have everything we need, we can solve this record player puzzle and gain access to the key that allows us to get out of here. So stick the two halves of the record together, fix the record player by following the actions on screen, and insert the record inside of here, and insert the coin, insert the jukebox key right over there, and then select C2. Uh, this solution is always the same between difficulties. And now we're going to move on to this area right over here. So there's going to be a moment where uh, a creeper is going to appear, but this guy never seems to attack you. And strangely, uh, this enemy has a problem where the radio doesn't play properly when it's nearby. Like these enemies are supposed to be caught on the radio, but sometimes the radio doesn't play and it's weird. But now that we've got this key, the enemies are going to spawn, but they don't know where you are. So you can always get past this guy because he has to detect you. And now what you have to do is just run straight right over here. Uh, that guy... Uh, avoid him if he decides to attack you, but just keep running straight and eventually you'll get to the Woodside Apartments on the right, use the key, and then continue on from there. And we're going to be introduced to a new enemy type, which is the Mannequin, and Mannequins are so annoying on this game. I mean, they're kind of fun to fight, but unfortunately the environment isn't designed in such a way where fighting them is a good thing, because the amount of times the camera is up James's ass, and the amount of times you fight Mannequins in dark areas and you can't see what they're doing and it leads to very frustrating gameplay, is annoying and also when you're in the middle of melee combat with mannequins they have this tendency to do these very fast attacks out of the blue and also there are times when they just get hyper armor during certain attacks and it's really annoying so i'm going to avoid fighting this guy and i'm just going to leash him so the mannequin is still active it's hiding in this room right here so you've got to make sure that you don't accidentally shine your flashlight on it or get too close to it so try to hug the left hand side and then once you get the key uh reach trace your steps and you'll be able to get out of here. Uh, sometimes the mannequin can be directly in front of the door, so that can be a bit problematic and you've got to make sure you hug the walls correctly so that you don't accidentally aggro it. But now that we have the shoot courtyard key, we can gain access to this area and we can get in through this window. Uh, be careful here, there will be a creeper that will emerge through one of these doors. And typically he comes out of this door, but I've had times where he's actually come out of the other door. I'm not too sure what dictates this. But there's also some handgun ammo in here, and we're going to just move all the way down this corridor until we get to this little interaction right here. 
So uh, get through this door, and now that Laura has been triggered, she's opened a way for us to get to the key. So we're going to just keep on running, and the key is going to be right here. But don't just backtrack down the hallway immediately. Go inside of this room and grab the golden door handle right over here. And after you pick up this golden door handle, there's going to be a lying figure in the hallway. But you got to move fast. He typically has his back to you as you're making your way over here. If he has his back to you, that's good. If not, you'll have to dodge him if he aggroes too early. But luckily for me, his back was to me. So I'm going to be able to get past him, and we're going to be able to access this part of the hallway right now and uh, speeding on ahead we're going to uh, go to this hallway right over here get through this door and we're going to go inside of this room here to grab the pistol uh, the pistol is recommended against mannequins. Mannequins take so many hits from your melee before they eventually die, and the chances of them being very douchey is high if you're engaging in melee combat. But with the pistol, if you shoot mannequins in the leg one to three times, you'll put them into a unique animation where they'll kneel, and then you can finish them off with one hit from your melee that knocks them to the ground, and then a couple of stomps. But right here, I'm going to use my flashlight to aggro this mannequin because because this mannequin doesn't come directly at you, it goes to hide instead. And it seems to do this every time I look at him with the flashlight. And you'll notice the flashlight flashed a bit. That indicates that the enemy has been aggroed onto you if you've been staring at them too long with the flashlight. But right here, dodge this lying figure on the ground. And this part right here, you're not going to be able to get past this guy before he aggroes. So I'm just going to stand in front of him, wait for him to do an attack, and then dodge him. And he's still coming after you, so you gotta be fast right here. I believe the enemies can move during these locked view moments where you're trying to use a key item. So make sure you insert this golden apple handle into here and also move the shelf out of the way quickly before that lying figure comes after you. Now, the puzzle here is different on hard difficulty. So the solution here is 13, 7, and 11. And you'll be able to gain access to the coin, and you'll also gain access to the key that lets you out of here. And when you exit this room, you need to go to a room that is directly to your left. This room has three creepers, and there's another key that we need. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to stand by this doorway, because sometimes the creepers can come after you immediately, like this guy. Uh, two of them will. The third guy is a little delayed in trying to get to me. So he'll typically be dilly-dallying on the ceiling or on the wall. And if that happens, you can just get the key. But if you're paranoid about this guy, you can just get rid of him if you want to. But there he is right there so i'm just going to get rid of him and now we have access to this key right over here and this will allow us to gain access to the small staircase and there's going to be another lying figure in this hallway coming up so i'm just going to get in front of him he's going to aggro but i'm going to wait for him to attack and then get past him that's typically the attack that they always do. They like to do this little jump towards you, and then they vomit on you. I don't know if that's a grab or that's an attack animation, but that seems to be the attack they like to do whenever you're close to them, and they first try to aggro onto you. But now we're going to go up to the third floor, and this room is a pain in the ass. This room is completely random because there's a bunch of mannequins, and their behavior is very sporadic. But what I'm going to try to do right here is I'm going to turn off my flashlight, and I'm going to listen for the radio. As soon as the radio stops, I'm going to go inside of here. Uh, mannequins do not make any noise on the radio when they're hiding, but they will make noise when they're currently moving through the area. So that's an indication that the mannequins have gone to their hiding places. But some of the hiding places are really cheap. Like, there are two locations right next to this crack in the wall. So they could have immediately attacked me as soon as I got through this crack, and it's so stupid. But that's why I decided to turn off my flashlight and just wait before entering, because a lot of times when I enter into the room, and then I aggro the mannequins and then go back through the room. It seems to increase the chances of the mannequins assuming very douchey positions when I'm trying to get through the room. But luckily for me, the positioning was good and I was able to get past them. And when you're trying to get through the next room, try to make sure you prepare for the possibility of a mannequin attacking you by dodging and listening for their sounds when they're about to attack. But you'll be able to gain access to the canned juice, throw it down the chute, and we have gained access to the next coin. So we're just going to go down all the way to the first floor. I make a mistake right here. I assume I'm on the first floor, so I nearly get caught by this lying figure right over here. So don't make my mistake. Make sure you get down to the first floor, go through the double doors that will allow you to gain access to the courtyard, grab the coin, go back through the door you just went through, take the hallway to the left, and this will take you directly to the pool area.
Now, this section is kind of tricky because there are three lying figures directly next to the baby carriage that is inside of this pool area. And I don't really know the best way to do the sequence. And I feel like the lying figures, uh, the ones that are specifically outside of buildings rather than inside the buildings, I think they're less alert to your presence compared to the ones inside the buildings. But I'm going to try to jump down into the pool from here. I'm going to wait for my opportunity to grab the coin. And as soon as I see it or one of them starts to notice me, I'm just going to grab the coin and get out of there. And now that we have all three coins, we can go back to the safe room through this door right over here and solve these puzzles. And the puzzle solutions are different on hard difficulty again so i've already uh, skipped directly to the solutions and the man is always the last solution right over here so now we have the apartment 201 key so we're gonna go all the way back up right over here and we're gonna go down this hallway the door is right here and we'll be able to gain access to the other world and get directly to the blue creek apartments i'm still practicing this section because the blue creek apartments are pretty annoying it's very dark there are a lot of enemies everywhere and you don't have the best supplies and i'm still trying to figure out the route the routing is a little confusing with the way the layout of this area is and the enemies on this section are going to get an upgrade so right here there's going to be an enhanced lying figure so this one has spikes on it that's an indication that it's enhanced uh it has a different acid attacks you can actually fire acid at a distance and also when you kill this enemy it will spew acid out as a suicide attack so you gotta be careful with that but i'm just gonna run right past this enemy and break through the wall you don't have a lot of time to do that so you gotta be very fast and then right here there's gonna be a bunch of mannequins and also some enhanced lying figures here so keep your pistol out at all times there's no telling where these mannequins can often be check your corners so I'm just going to move very slowly. I'm going to make sure I don't aggro the lying figure because I do not want to put myself in a position where a lying figure is going to push me into a mannequin. But typically, uh, this mannequin is going to be near the end of this room right over here. So I'm moving very slowly, and it's going to be right there. So be ready to dodge this enemy, and then just make a mad dash for the save point. And that will be the end of the beginning of Silent Hill 2 Remake and also the end of the Woodside apartment area. I'll continue the Blue Creek apartment area in the next part of this walkthrough. So thank you guys for watching and you take care now.